Right then guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I did came to do this video on a Tuesday, but it never turned out right. So I came back out today, while nice and sunny. And we're going to be having a little look around um, Foxhall's War, I think it's called. Well, around that area, I got a bit of news. And it is the end of the one pound burger wars. But I'm not going to try a burger, so don't worry. It ain't going to be the same one what I already done. Just don't speak about it. Walk past, show you the area, what to expect. Just in case you're booking a B&B or hotel around this area. But we'll say it's quite popular. So let's get straight into the video and see what the area you got to offer. Around the distance, we got the pound burger. Well, the prime burger it used to be a pound, but now the prices have gone up to two pounds. So, the only point in prices up was you know it costs too much to make and you can't compete with the likes of Chris or didn't get a bit too famous and a lot of people start going, so you're down to cash in on the idea. So if I had put them up two pounds, well I said that you seem to cash in on it. But we would never know. If I remember correctly, you got um, the same like company building up on Grange Park also. But well, this is called Foxhall Village West. Two, three and four bedrooms, houses to rent. So that's going to be private or with the council. This used to be the old job centre. It's been empty for quite some time now, so I don't know what's going to be happening to the building, but it do seem to be a big type of building to let or put something else there in its space. And this is one of the streets, one of the first wanted to see. I think they're coming down on holiday sometime this month. At one of the hotels, just on the right hand side. And I think this is the hotel you're looking for. And this was for Rolf Jones, I'll, I'll tag you um, down below, you'll get notified, and I hope this helps. Right then, I want to head back towards the Plumway now, because I know that it's a pub, what don't be opening up in two to three weeks from now, I think. Well, I know it opening up very soon. So the old Jack Russell, as people may remember it up, it's becoming to be a new bar and as you can tell they have put some new windows in at the front so that will make it at 10 times brighter so it's coming in like mid-august so it'll be opening soon so this area got quite a lot to offer and it only is literally straight away from the promenade You've got lots of different shops, you've got um, like your takeaways, your bars, and this is where Blackpool Voices base. If I remember correctly, they do a lot for the homeless and for families in need. And I'm walking past one of the cheapest pubs in Blackpool, if I remember correctly. Well, that's what I got told. I'm not really a time to be going into pubs and clubs, but yeah, we got that odd wick. You got some more fish and chip shops. You got the sea, that's how I went to the sea, where the one in town. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down in the Sue Switzerland. You also got Lily's and a other pizza kebab shop. And right next door, you got the newest slots, retro slots, what just nicely opened. And just across the road from there, 
It's something you don't really see a lot, lot of no more. You got the fox on market, still up and running. You don't really see a lot of markets anymore, really, don't you? We used to have one in town, but now that turned into a food court. Quite a funky street art, should we say. But, of course, just right down here, you have got your palm burger, Chris. I think you were the first one in Blackpool to do the palm burger and it's still going strong. You know, it's got a queue outside. So I just want to have a little wonder down here. Across the road, we have got the Blackpool Courts and the old police station. Blackpool Courts meant to be getting pulled down quite soon. So I'm just walking behind the Palm Burger now on the Stanley, that is an other new I wouldn't say a brand new bar, it's been here for about a little while now. But it's quite newish. The home of the famous Blackpool One Pound Burger. Well, we also got like a car park here. When you see the one where you need to pay on your phone. Yeah. It look like you need to pay on your phone. These type of car parks is getting quite popular nowadays. Download and pay when you park. I don't really understand all that really. But what you do, you won't really clue up on that technology or you never have a smartphone to download the app. What happened to the good old pay and display where you put a couple of quid in the meter? Then off you go. I think it's how it looked like everywhere taking like cashless now, ain't them? All online nowadays. Got the box at old village house. They look like an other hotel. They look like quite a big one, I suppose, to be fair. When you come to Blackpool, where about do you stay? Do you stay on like the promenade bit? Or do you stay in north or south? Let me know down in the comments. We also got a DLG dance school. Probably just down that little street right there. Just don't have a little wonder up to Cube Street now. And you're probably wondering, right? Jay, you're out and about, but why are you wearing your sunglasses on top of your hat? I do that so I can see the see the screen a lot more clearer, so I can see is it like dark on the images or bright where well, I put the sunglasses on to make everything look like nice and dull. <laughs> Not the only reason why I put them on top of the hat so I don't lose them. But they're coming up to Cube Street now. And there were a couple of hotels getting built around here and it looked like they're all opened up but let's have a little wonder and have a little look of course we got our other car park just at the top of cube street and it do look like a nice good sized car park here the hotel i was speaking about all these were getting all built all like getting all done up inside what it look like, most of them all open. Yeah, again, we got the Blackpool Tower just right in the distance again. We got like a cat that looked white, grey and black all in one go. Type of colour you don't see every day. Right then guys, I think that's going to be the end of this video. But if you did enjoy this type of walk around, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like what you've watched, then hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.